Foreign relations of the Italian Republic are the Italian government's external relations with the outside world. Located in Europe, Italy has been considered a major Western power since its unification in 1861. Its main allies are the NATO countries and the EU states, two entities of which Italy is a founding member. Italy has a particular role within the Christian world because Rome is the seat of the Pope and the center of the Catholic Church. Italy acts as a mediator in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and has many troops deployed in the Middle East, and all over the world for peacekeeping missions, and for combating organized crime, illegal drug trade, human trafficking, piracy and terrorism. Italy is currently commanding various multinational forces. The country plays also a significant role in former colonies and territories of the Italian Empire and is considered a key player in the Mediterranean region. History The Risorgimento was the era 1830–1870 that saw the emergence of a national consciousness. Italians achieved independence from Austria, the House of Bourbon and from the Pope, securing national unification. The papacy called France to resist unification, fearing that giving up control of the Papal States would weaken the Church and allow the Liberals to dominate conservative Catholics. Italy captured Rome in 1870 and later formed the Triple Alliance 1882 with Germany and Austria. Italy defeated the Ottoman Empire in 1911–1912. By 1914, Italy had acquired in Africa a colony on the Red Sea coast Eritrea, a large protectorate in Somalia and administrative authority in formerly Turkish Libya. Outside of Africa, Italy possessed a small concession in Tientsin in China following the Boxer Rebellion and the Dodecanese Islands off the coast of Turkey. Austria took the offensive against the terms of the alliance and Italy decided to take part in World War I as a principal allied power with France and Great Britain. Two leaders, Prime Minister Antonio Salandra and Foreign Minister Sidney Sunino made the decisions, their primary motivation was seizure of territory from Austria, as secretly promised by Britain and France in the Treaty of London of 1915. Italy was very poorly prepared for war, in terms of military strength, leadership, and finances, and had to be repeatedly rescued by Britain and France financially and militarily. Italy occupied southern Albania and established a protectorate over Albania, which remained in place until 1920. The Allies defeated the Austrian Empire in 1918 and Italy became one of the main winners of the war. At the Paris Peace Conference in 1919, Prime Minister Vittorio Emanuele Orlando focused almost exclusively on territorial gains, but he got far less than he wanted, and Italians were bitterly resentful when they were denied control of the city of Fiume. The conference, under the control of Britain, France and the United States refused to assign Dalmatia and Albania to Italy as had been promised in the Treaty of London. Britain, France and Japan divided the German overseas colonies into mandates of their own, excluding Italy. Italy also gained no territory from the breakup of the Ottoman Empire. Civil unrest erupted in Italy between nationalists who supported the war effort and opposed what they called the mutilated victory, as nationalists referred to it, and leftists who were opposed to the war. The fascist government that came to power with Benito Mussolini in 1922 sought to increase the size of the Italian Empire and to satisfy the claims of Italian irredentists. In 1935–36, in its second invasion of Ethiopia Italy was successful and merged its new conquest with its older East African colonies. In 1939, Italy invaded Albania and incorporated it into the fascist state. During the Second World War 1939 Italy formed the Axis alliance with Japan and Germany and occupied several territories such as parts of France, Greece, Egypt and Tunisia but was forced in the final peace to abandon all its colonies and protectorates. Following the Civil War and the economic depression caused by World War II, Italy enjoyed an economic miracle, promoted European unity, joined NATO and became an active member of the European Union. Italy was granted a United Nations Trust to administer Somaliland in 1950. When Somalia became independent in 1960, Italy's eight-decade experience with colonialism ended. <laughs> <laughs> Relations by region and country <laughs> <laughs> Africa Americas <laughs> 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 Topic Asia Topic Europe 
Topic: Oceania. Topic: International institutions. Italy is part of the UN, EU, NATO, the OECD, the OSCE, the DAC, the WTO, the G6, G7, G8, G10, G20, the Union for the Mediterranean, the Council of Europe, the Central European Initiative, the ASEM, the MEF. Italy leads the Uniting for Consensus and participates in prominent decision-making groups such as the EU Big Four, the Quint and the Contact Group. See also Diplomatic history of World War II Hashtag Italy International relations of the Great Powers 1814 List of diplomatic missions in Italy List of diplomatic missions of Italy Treaty of Osimo Treaty of Rapallo Visa requirements for Italian citizens Topic. References Topic. Further reading Azzi, Stephen Corrado. The Historiography of Fascist Foreign Policy. Historical Journal 1993-36 No. 1 pp. 187-203 in JSTOR Bosworth, Richard. Italy, the least of the great powers, Italian foreign policy before the First World War 1979. Bosworth, Richard. Mussolini 2002 excerpt and text search Bergwin, H. James. The Legend of the Mutilated Victory, Italy, the Great War, and the Paris Peace Conference, 1915-1919 Bergwin, H. James. Italian foreign policy in the interwar period, 1918 to 1940, 1997. Excerpt and text search. Castles, Allen. Italian foreign policy, 1918 to 1945: A guide to research and research materials, 1997. Shabad, Federico. Italian foreign policy, 1996. Excerpt and text search. Faraday, Douglas M. Italian Foreign Policy, Trends for the 21st Century 2012 excerpt Gooch, John. Mussolini and His Generals, The Armed Forces and Fascist Foreign Policy, 1922-1940 excerpt and text search Lowe, C. J. and F. Marzari. Italian Foreign Policy, 1870-1940 Maurizio Marinelli, Giovanni Andernino, Italy's Encounter with Modern China, Imperial Dreams, Strategic Ambitions, New York, Palgrave Macmillan, 2014. Maurizio Marinelli. The Genesis of the Italian Concession in Tianjin, a Combination of Wishful Thinking and Realpolitik. Journal of Modern Italian Studies, 15 2010-536-556. Smith, Dennis Mack. Modern Italy, A Political History 1997. Taylor, A.J.P. The Struggle for Mastery in Europe 1848-1918 covers all European diplomacy.